the fourth of uh, this six round lightweight contest. Interesting to see Tony Borg being handled in the corner by uh, Sammy Sims. Or Steve Sims, his real name, but always known as Sammy Sims. Because they fought for the uh, Welsh Super Featherweight title some five years ago when uh, Tony Borg dumped Steve Sims. Put him down for eight in round two, but Steve Sims went on to, uh, to win the vacant title at that time. And now they're working in partnership in quite a useful little boxing stable over in Newport where Tony Borg, who was a Cardiff-born lad, lived in Tremorfa, but now uh, has been living over in Pill, the Pill area of Newport for some time. Tony Borg walked into one then. He was dishing it out, but he left his right hand down for just a second. And Kelly got him with the left hand. He's boiling down the fitness now here because uh, both boys are teed off on each other and uh, he's taking quite a bit out of both fighters. If you notice now, they're, they're not singling so many combinations, but single shots and aren't single shots. So. Uh, It'll boil down to the biggest art and whoever's got the most stamina at the end of the day. Understandable is because, as you say, they, they set off at a devil of a pace. There was no uh, feeling each other out in the early stages. They just went at it, hammer and tops from the start. And Tony Borg is piling it on a bit now. Borg is leaving himself open for that left hook, Karen. Yes, yeah, so I think Borg thought that uh, Kelly had hurt himself. So I think he did, actually. Uh, he showed a nasty grimace on his face then when he... I think he hurt his right hand, but... Uh, to Borg's surprise, he came back with a stiff straight left. I wonder if you're right, Colin. I wonder if he has hurt that right hand because it's all left hand with Kelly at the moment. Yes, yeah, so it did appear that he did his hand. I know he showed it on his face, but uh, he seems to tell the kid uh, if he had two broken hands, he'd still be in there. Yeah. Seconds out. Round five. Fifth round of six. Felix Kelly, only been stopped once in his uh, career of nine professional fights, and that was his last time out in September when a very, very good boy, Luton's Billy Schwer, stopped him in uh, two rounds. Schwer then had uh, 12 out of 12, won 12 out of 12, and 10 of those inside the distance, so he was up against somebody really useful. Certainly the pace has dropped quite a lot here in this fifth round, but uh, that is understandable because they've been going at each other like tigers from the first bell. What a good show up over Hill. If the rest of the night is uh, ending to go by, then uh, we're in for a good night's boxing here. This is true. I think this is uh, all credit to the matchmaker. He has, uh, Got a, got a couple of good crowd pleasing lads in there. This is a fight too, I think, that could open any show. Even the big shows in Vegas will be checked out this and they will open it up.
Well, it doesn't look as though either of them have a single big punch to put the other man away, but whoever wins this one, uh, I would say that a return is definitely on the cards. <laughs> Kelly protecting his midsection with with his arms, but some of those ball punches are getting through. Oh, ball caught him with a couple of good cracks to the chin there. I think that's taken just a little out of Felix Kelly's legs. The cat is not walking just as fast as he was a little earlier. Yeah, that was another very, very good round with both boys doing a great deal of work there. But I would have thought that uh, Tony Borg got in the, uh, the better combination. Sixth and last round. Well, three minutes to go. The sixth and last of this uh, light middle, uh, light lightweight contest. That's the nine stone nine division. Both boys coming in just fractionally over that. Borg at nine twelve and a half. Kelly at nine ten and a quarter. Both of them a credit to their trainers for the uh, fitness that they've showed and credit to themselves for the genuine honest effort that they've put into this contest. Inside as perhaps he ought to, Colin. No, I think he did start working inside about two rounds ago here when he found that ball was hitting too hard to the body for him. It was possibly a soft bit of centre of him for this last round here, and I think he's feeling the pace a bit. Both dishing it out again. That was a good straight left jab from Borg, and he followed it up. And again, Kelly comes back at him. Although he and neither carry in the big single fence, they put in the amount of work they put in, and then uh, I think they're both entitled to be tired. Because really speaking, they're working like flyweights here, you know, they're very busy. They are indeed. Only once in a while in this round, you simply think that uh, Tony Ball's getting on top, and then Kelly comes back with another big one. Right. Step back, step back. I would say that the volume of punches. Uh, the greatest volume of punches is coming from Tony Borg in this last round, and that may be enough. Super couple of shots there from Kelly, and he had to pay for it. Borg getting back. But uh, half a minute left. And the crowd really rising to these two men now. <laughs> they have not stopped from the very first bell. Wouldn't surprise me here to see you in for the referee just walking over and picking the two hands up. Well, I think uh, I think I would applaud that verdict. What a return that will make as well. Absolutely. Absolutely cracking contest. Cracking contest. And Tony Borg has got it. A marvellous fight. And Tony Borg the winner. Spare a thought for Felix Kelly. I think personally that he might just have deserved a draw. Nevertheless, Tony Borg.